Let's take a look at this boot, the Baffin Titan. Welcome to the Relentless Sportsman channel. I'm here to create videos to show people and give advice concerning hunting and fishing throughout the seasons of the entire year. If you're looking for high quality, 100% rubber, warm boots for the extreme cold, you picked the right video. So what are these things? These are boots made in Canada that are 100% rubber, made for the extreme cold, and originally made for ice fishing. Now I'm not a huge ice fisherman, I'll go every now and then, but these boots are excellent, not just for ice fishing, but of course, hunting in extreme cold temperatures. The reason why this is a really good boot for you to use is because it's made from 100% rubber. If you look at big companies like Lacrosse or Muck, they don't use 100% rubber and that's why those boots just don't last. Many rubber boot companies aren't actually using 100% rubber. They use up to 85% clay filler and only 15% rubber. That's why they crack, that's why they don't last, and that's why that is an issue. So if you're looking for high quality rubber boots for warm weather, this is your ticket. And the good news is they're not very expensive. We'll get to that in just a second. Not having 100% rubber boots is a problem, is an issue. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine purchased muck boots a year ago and had a leak less than a year later, just because the seams crack and they don't hold up. Clay filler is not a good solution. If you have old lacrosse boots from many years ago, they probably still work because they were made properly. Those companies just don't make high quality boots anymore. And if you're out there saying, well, I have really nice 200 plus dollar lacrosse boots that have lasted me for many years, you're lucky. All right, now that we're past my rubber boot should actually be made out of rubber rant, let's move on. As I stated earlier in the video, these were originally made for ice fishing and they probably still are, it's Canada. But I use them for hunting and I know other people that use them for hunting, no problem. I've used them in climbers, I've used them going up climbing sticks when I'm saddle hunting, and I've used them walking in the woods quite a long ways without an issue. So when you order these, or if you look up some information about the Baffin Titan boot, you'll notice it says rated for minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold on a minute, that's a walking temp. You need to be careful. So when you're looking up boot temps and the ratings for them, you need to consider that's a walking temperature. You're not gonna walk in these all day. You're not even gonna do that if you're ice fishing, moving around all the time. That's a walking temp, so you have to be careful with that. All that tells you and tells me is that they're rated for really cold temperatures. The temperature rating depends on the person. For example, my feet get cold extremely easy and very quick, so I need to come up with a good solution. I've had boots before, they've worked kind of, but these have worked the best so far, and I'm really glad I got them. For you, you might be able to tolerate cold a little bit more, so maybe other boots work for you longer into the season. But once we get to that post-rut, post-gun season, at least in Wisconsin, into December, a little bit into January, it gets cold here. And especially in those mornings when you're walking out to your stand, the last thing you want is cold feet. Cold feet are the number one thing that'll take me out of the woods. My feet get cold, I can't concentrate, I don't enjoy the hunt, it completely ruins the experience, but that's avoidable with proper boots like these. So a really great reason for why you should have these boots instead of a leather boot with perhaps more insulation is simply because they don't allow any moisture into the boot from swamps, rivers, creeks, puddles, whatever. And that's a really big deal because the majority of the time I'm hunting, I'm in a marsh, I'm crossing a creek, or at least to get to my stand early on, I'm going through some puddles or muck or mud or whatever. And if you have leather boots with a lot of insulation, maybe more insulation than this, they could have a colder temperature rating on them and maybe they are warmer overall. But if they get wet, it's not gonna make a difference. Now, if you're just hunting field edges and things like that where there's no moisture at all, but in most cases, at least the people that I know that hunt, the people that I follow that hunt, there's always some sort of water involved. Let's talk about the price. And the price is fantastic. Considering what other boot companies are asking, this is a really great deal. Now, I can't give you a solid price because it depends on when you purchase them, where you purchase them from, if you're gonna include shipping, sales tax. What I would like you to do though, is kind of do your own homework and maybe check out Amazon, maybe check out eBay, check out some other way to find these boots for an affordable price that works for your budget. Now, I got really lucky and I was just kind of surfing around on the internet, trying to look at all my different options and I eventually found these on Amazon with free two-day shipping on Prime for $115. Yeah, $115.
one, one, five. Think about that. When you go into the store, wherever you're shopping for boots, and you see lacrosse boots, or muck boots, or any other big name boot out there, you won't find them this warm, 100% rubber, for less than $200. Now most of the time you're going to see these boots a lot more than $115. Well not a lot more, but around $160 all the way up to $180. Currently at the time of this video, they're on the Baffin website for $177. That's still not bad if you consider what other boot companies are asking for their boots, and they're not even as warm, and they're not even made out of 100% rubber. So what I suggest you do, if you're not in a hurry to get these, maybe you want them for next season, 2021. Maybe you want them if you think your boots are gonna be shot two years from now. Take your time, shop around a little bit, you'll find a good deal. Maybe in the spring, especially when boot prices come down, maybe that would be a good time to purchase some warm weather boots. But I found mine for 115. I've seen them on Amazon a lot for like 159, 160. Like I said, they're on the website for 177. I've seen them anywhere in between. I've never seen them for more than 180. I've never seen them for less than 115. So that's kind of a range that you can be looking at. So another thing to consider when purchasing these boots is that they don't lace up and they're not gonna be extremely tight. One thing you should also consider is that they have this, what they call a snow cuff, and your pants will most likely not be able to go around the outside of the boot. So if that's a problem to you, maybe don't look for a boot like this. They are pretty wide up here, even though they might not look like it on the website or in this video, they are. The only thing that I can put on the outside of this is a great big pair of bibs that I use in really cold temperature. But if I'm just wearing regular hunting pants, I place them inside, I tighten these up, and that seems to work just fine. It's not an issue. I actually like that better because when you're going across creeks or whatever, you don't have to worry about your pants getting wet and it kind of works out just fine for these boots. When you tighten these up, they're not gonna be extremely tight around your leg and it's gonna feel maybe like the boots will slip off just a little bit at first, but they're not going to. If you get the right size, they're gonna fit just fine. Cause I'm a size nine, so with this I ordered a size 10 and they fit great. So if you're a size 12, you better order a 13. If you're a size 10, you should order an 11. Just order one size higher, that's my recommendation. Don't hate me if it doesn't work out. This is just my experience and I thought it worked out well for me. If you like a lot of space in your boot and you think that you need to have a really big wool sock on, maybe order two sizes more than you would wear in a shoe. But for me, I'm a size nine in a shoe. I ordered a 10 in this boot and I have no complaints. Toe warmer. If your toes do get cold in this boot, use these. And I'm gonna teach you how to use them properly because I don't think a lot of people know this. I think there's an idea that you need to put them underneath your foot because they stick to the bottom of your boot and the heat goes up and it heats up your foot. It's actually the wrong way to use these in my experience. I have a much better way to use them. And another problem with these that's been mentioned to me is that they don't last very long. Well, you know why? It's because a lot of people use them in leather boots and leather boots have seams that allow air in and out of the boot constantly. Air is constantly going in and out of the boot. You don't even realize it. It's happening especially when you step down. But of course, when you're sitting still in a tree stand or a blind, air is still moving in and out of your boot. So what happens is these don't last as long because they react to oxygen. So the more oxygen you have entering your boot and leaving your boot, the less time this is going to last. So if this is rated for four hours, that probably means it's rated for four hours in low oxygen. But the good news is, Rubber boots don't allow a lot of oxygen in and out of the boot. There's no seams. It's airtight with the exception of the top. All you need to do is put this inside your boot. But here's how you do it. It needs to go on top of your sock, not below it. What I do is I take my boot off, I slip it off, which is actually nice that it doesn't have laces because this is a pretty quick process. I take one of these, it's sticky on one side, I put it on top of my wool sock. I slip my foot back into my boot and your feet will never get cold doing that. That's almost a guarantee. If you use these boots, if you put these on top of your sock, which is super easy to do, they're not gonna get cold. And to be honest with you, they probably shouldn't get cold anyway in this boot. It's just me because I have a really big issue with getting cold feet and it drives me crazy. But with that boot and this, you should not have an issue at all. All right, so the big question is why should you buy these? And I have three reasons why you should buy these. One, you like to ice fish. Two, you hunt in wet habitats. Three, you hunt in extremely cold habitats, like Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Dakotas, Canada, 
whatever. Now, like I always say, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to give you advice so you can make a good decision about what you should do and what works best for you. Here's the bottom line. If you do any of those three things I just mentioned, this is going to be a good boot for you. I'm very sure of it. I'd also like to mention that these boots really don't weigh that much. I've got boots that are much heavier and boots that are much lighter. They're not as light as walking boots, so you're definitely going to notice the additional weight, the additional size, but it's kind of like a hybrid between a really heavy sitting boot and a walking boot. So inside there, you can see that it has this waffle sole. What that does is allows air to circulate properly and move throughout the boot to keep your feet warm. The other thing it has is this really nice liner that comes out. It's pretty tough to get out, but once you do and you hold on to it, you'll realize why this boot is so warm and why it's so effective. The other reason why this boot is so great, in my opinion, is because it keeps your feet dry. It's a rubber boot that keeps moisture out and it keeps your feet from getting wet to begin with. So if you know me or once you get to know me more as I make more videos for this channel, you'll realize I am not a big gear person. I am not into having the best anything. I'm into having things that work, things that are purchasable for the correct value. If you purchase something that's really nice, top of the line, I'm not impressed. I don't think that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing if you get it for the right value, if it's what you need to get the job done. And when it comes to hunting, if you can't keep your feet warm, you're not going to enjoy it at all. When I was a kid, my feet got cold all the time. I didn't like going because of that. So don't let something like cold feet, cold hands, or whatever, ruin your hunting experience. That's the last thing that should happen. All right, so do I recommend the Baffin Titan boot for hunting in cold temperatures, hunting in wet climates and habitats, or ice fishing? Yeah, I do, especially because of the cost. If this boot was over $200, I would say no, look for something else, and I wouldn't be doing this review, I wouldn't be telling you this information. But for under $200, there's not a better boot on the market that's 100% rubber, really great in that climate, and really easy to put on and off, low maintenance, it's just a great thing to have, especially for the price. So check it out, do your own research. There's other videos on YouTube that are great that explain some of this information. Maybe not as in depth, maybe a little bit more. You'll have to check that out for yourself. But if you're into ice fishing, cold weather hunting, or even shoveling snow in really cold temperatures in your driveway and you need something that works for that, these boots are gonna work. And don't be afraid to purchase these boots if you do more fine nest hunting like I do, mobile setups with saddles and whatever, they're gonna work for that. You might not wanna walk as far, but you can still climb up your steps. You can still use your ring of steps. You can still use a climber. You can still go up your steps to your hang on stand. That's not gonna be an issue. Check it out for yourself. I'll put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you supporting this channel. Until next time, take care. Video coming every Friday at four o'clock. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.